for the second component of map reduce, which is programming model, before going into detail, let's look at one warm up task where we have a huge task document and we want to count the number of times each distinct work appear in the file. This has several possible applications. For example, if you want to analyze the web server log to find popular URLs, or if you want to compute term statistics to view a search engine. For example, if, if you know that some word appear very frequently in a web page, and most probably the web page is gonna be about that word. And then you can match some search query containing that word to the web page. And let's assume that a file is too large for memory, but all the word count pairs actually fit in memory. To solve this problem, one naive approach, of course, you can write several lines of Python or C++ code to just count, count the words. And, but if I'm busy, I want to complete these tasks using one single Linux command line, I will do something like this. I will just, uh, let's say that this word function will take a file and output the words in the file, one per line, something, something like this and it will feed it into the pipes and the sort function will just sort all these lines alphabetically. And the unique that C this command has a very neat function, which will just count the occurrences of each unique word. For example, A, we count the A and there were two occurrences of A and the B is also two and C is also two. So, this process actually captures the essence of the map reduce. And the, and the great thing is that this is actually naturally parallelizable. Now, at the very high level, the map reduce will first sequentially read a lot of data. And then there will be two key functions. We have a map function and a reduce function. And the map function will just extract something that you care about. For example, in the warm up task, it's just the word that you care about. And between the map function and the reduce function, there will be an operation to group these lines by key using sorting or shuffling. And it will become something like this. And then comes the reduce function, which will aggregate, summarize, to or transform all these, all these content. And in a one-up pass, it's just counting the occurrences of each word. And then the environment of MapReduce will just write the result to the disk. For all the MapReduce program, the outline will stay the same, but the specific forms of map function and the reduce function will change to fit the specific problem. And more concretely, the MapReduce will take as input some key value pairs. For example, in the warm up task, one key value pair can be, for example, the key can be the the document ID and the value can be the whole all the tags in the document. And we will perform a map function to produce some intermediate key value pairs on each chunk server and do the same for a different key value pair as input, et cetera, et cetera. And once we get all these intermediate key value pairs, we come to the reduce step. And in the reduce step, we will first group all these key value pairs by the key and be, it will become something like this. For example, for example, if somewhere we have several uh, several key value pairs with the same key, it's gonna be grouped into here. And then we will have a reduce function operates on each key value group and it will reduce the list of values into one single value. And remember in the warm up task, it will just, basically sum up, sum up a lot of ones and, and, and we will get the total number of occurrences of each word here. And in general, actually, this function can be anything like um, taking the average or taking the maximum or taking the minimum or even taking the product. And we will do the same reduce function for different key value group, so on and so forth. And for the word counting problem, we are given, let's say that we're given a big document and 
we will have a map function, which is provided by the control lemma to read this input and produce a set of key value pairs. For example, it will produce something like this. The key of the first pair will be the, and the value will be one. It's just it, you can see that's just counting the occurrences of each word. And this is the second pair, this is the third pair. And then we will have a group function to group all these key value pair by their key. We can see that all the crew uh, actually they're grouped into the same into the same place. Note that this is already the reduce node. And then comes the reduce function, also provided by the programmer. And the reduce function will collect all the values belonging to the same key and output a final key value pair. For example, these two key value pair will be reduced into one key value pair here. And if you're sensitive to the map, you can see that all the operations that we have discussed so far, it only needs sequential reads as opposed to random reads. This is important because sequential reads is much, much more um, cheaper. It's much cheaper than random reads on the disk. It saves much more time. And of course, until now we have been pretending that we have one map node and we have one reduce node. And in practice, things would not be that simple. And oftentimes, one big, one big document will be split into multiple chunks. And therefore, you will need multiple map server to do the job. For example, here we split it into four chunks and therefore we have four map server or four map nodes to perform the map operation. And even more, complicatedly, it's gonna be distributed into multiple reduced nodes. And how do they distribute these results into, into different reduced nodes? This is done by using hash function. Basically they hash the key of, of each pair and, and it will just be distributed to a certain reduced node. And the reduced node will do the job to reduce multiple, multiple key value pairs with the same key into one key value pair. And note that in here, we have the results which are distributed into multiple reduced nodes, but this is totally fine because by definition, we are in a distributed file system. So things are supposed to be split into chunks and stored in different chunk servers. And if we write down the pseudo code of this map reduce program of word count will be something like this, where we'll have a map function and a reduce function. The map function, the input will be a key value pair. And the key of course will be the document name and the value will be the text of the document. And the, in, in this function, there will be just one for loop which will go through each word in the document and it will output a key value pair for each word. And the key will be the word and the value will be one. For the reduce function, the key of course will be a word, but the value would just be a, you can think of it as a list of values because these are already grouped, right? And the function will be just a for loop to go through each entry in the list of values and add them up. And it will, it will reduce these it will reduce this list of values and output one final key value pair here. And more formally, MapReduce basically take as input a set of key value pairs and the programmer specify two methods. We specify a map method and a reduce method. Basically the map method will take a key value pair and output a set of key value pairs. For example, the key can be a file name here and the value can be a chunk of file and the output will be just a set of key value pair like we, like we have seen before. And note that there's one map call for every key value pair. And between the map function and the reduce function, we'll have the system to group all these key value pair for us, like the sorting stuff. And now we will have a reduce function and in this reduce function, all the values with the same key will be reduced together and output a single key value pair. Note that there's one reduce function for per unique key. 